All right. Slowly making good of my promise to actually be on camera a little bit more here. Um, we're just having a casual talk, so I'm not going to cover up any important screen capturable things. Uh, so anyway, we're going to talk about uh, advertising in the uh, App Store. So there's two ways of going about this. And if you just type into Google search ads, Apple, this somewhere it'll come up, uh, you know, how you can basically sign in and... Uh, and get a search ads account here for the Apple Store. There's, uh, but what you might not notice is that there's actually two versions of this. You've got a basic and an advanced one. So advanced is um, is more what you'd kind of expect out of like something like Google AdWords, if you're familiar with that, where you are paying for taps on uh, the ad to your app. Okay, so you can see here's a recent example in the past week. This this ad. Um, is uh, it just got 37 impressions and one tap. All right, the spend on it wasn't that much, five cents, but I'm in no way guaranteed to get back that five cents, right? So somebody could just be a looky-loo, they click on it, they go, ah, I don't wanna install it, and they go back to their whatever search results. Okay, so I lost five cents, not a big deal, right? Uh, but there's a, a, a cooler way of doing this where you actually are guaranteed uh, money if, um, the person installs it and actually you only get charged if somebody installs the app. So let's take a look at something that actually will here. Let me set this to not just, it's kind of early in the month over here. Okay, there we go. Last three calendar months being slow for some reason. Uh, but all well, that's figuring itself out. So uh, think about this. Uh, you know, Apple's always going to take their uh, 30%, right? So let's say your app is $2 to purchase, okay? Um, and uh, I believe this Gator sticker's over here. I think this was $2. I set it to be $2. All right. Uh, so potentially I make like a dollar twenty off of it. But what I'm saying over here in the in this basic ad is that, okay, I'm willing uh, to pay, and actually I believe I set this to be more like $0.60. Cents. They only charged me 15 But I'm willing to pay up to $0.60 cents, uh, per install, okay? So then, you know, I've got that other, if it's I net $1.20 or whatever, minus the $0.60 cents to get it installed. And you can see these are kind of low numbers. I mean, this is this whole, whole program's kind of new, so maybe Apple's kind of figuring out you know, how often they want to show ads, or maybe I'm just getting outbid. Uh, I had one really good example, though. Where was it? Dead stickers. Here it is. So the spend on this for 22 installs was actually only $3.30. And uh, and again, I, I'm pretty sure I set the cost of this up to 2 bucks. Uh, so that means that, you know, that's obviously... From, $44 minus the 30% from Apple. So it's still a nice little chunk of change. And the great thing about it is it's no risk, okay? Because I'm guaranteed to get money off of the install. And I guess it'd probably be helpful if I just went over here and tried to add a new app. Um, what's something I'm not advertising on? Well, this is a free one. So um, I'm, I'm going to hit cancel on this. I don't actually want to advertise on this because... Um, because I'm not guaranteed to get any money off of the install. So it becomes a little bit risky. And if I set the budget too low, they're just never going to show the ad for it. But let's pretend again that this is going to be a, that it is just a $2 app. It's not free. It's a $2 app. Uh, so then I could put in here, you know, the, the, the max that I want to pay per install. Let's just go and say like a dollar. Okay. Probably again, as you guys have seen the results, Probably Apple's not going to charge me the, the whole dollar. They'll say, okay, it's it's mostly fair to just charge them 15 cents or 20 cents or whatever it is. So it's still leaving me lots of room to make money um, off a, a guaranteed purchase, right? Uh, and then for your monthly budget, I mean, you know, they it's funny. They put in here this month, a monthly budget, but the crazy thing is is that, um, you know, they should just uh, – well, here, here's the max, right, 5000 It would be great if this was just unlimited, right? Um, obviously they don't expect it to show the ad that often for you. So 5,000 is some sort of realistic cap. Uh, but, and this looks crazy, but I mean, think about it, you know, who, who cares what your cap is, uh, if you're guaranteed to make money off every single one of those installs. And this gives you a good idea of what the, um, obviously what the actual uh, ad would look like. So I need to be sure that I cancel this out. I'm just going to clear those. Uh, but anyway, so you can, you know, you go through it here and you, you find all your apps or whatever. And uh, obviously you guys get an idea that, come on, cancel. 
that I spent uh, a while, a year and a half ago, making lots of sticker apps. All right, so sorry, jump cut there. The site was being weird. Uh, and anyway, th so this is uh, this whole kind of little model, new, new model of selling your app, or at least getting it seen, uh, is is not like a huge game changer, but it is a little bit of one. Um, and just as a little example, I mean, uh, this app that I just submitted uh, yesterday and got approved yesterday was um, was one that was a, I mean, it still is a freemium app. You can. It's hard to find because it's such a generic name. I called it emoji stickers, which basically results in it getting found <laughs> not at all because it's so simple. Uh, but uh, it, it had all the same uh, stickers inside of here, but it was a freemium one. So, you know, you download it uh, for free and then you get the, the option to unlock it. And I um, so basically I just duplicated that same project. Uh, I made it so that there was no in-app purchasing inside of it. So it's just, you know, as soon as you open it up, it's got 175 emojis uh, ready to go with no upsells inside of there. Uh, and then I just, you know, re-uploaded it to the store, gave it a different name, which is fine. You see lots of um, apps in the store that do basically that same thing. They, there's a freemium version, and then there's just a full paid version. Um, but um, so anyway, and, and the whole reason I was, I was doing that is just so I could set up an ad for it that at least, you know, I know if I get one install, guaranteed to make um, some money off of it so uh, and I even set the the, uh, the cost kind of or yeah my what I'm willing to pay on it kind of high because um, I mean you know why not uh, I, so it's set to be three dollars and the uh, the cost there is 150 you know that's weird a second ago I didn't see any of these options to to, to, to toggle the price you, we we were all just seeing that just a moment ago, right? Uh, so anyway, that, uh, that'll do it. Uh, I don't think I need to talk too much more about it. Uh, if you guys are interested in uh, selling stickers, uh, cartoonsmart.com sells a pretty amazing uh, sticker kit. You know what? If I got you on the line, I might as well just... Here we go. All right, so I'm under kits. Go over here to sticker kit. Uh, find out about this kit. This is the easiest of all the kits we've got because all you got to do is just basically dump your animated PNG files into the project, into the Xcode project. Uh, and then the, the kit comes with uh, this property list file. And you can see it's really just highlighting the uh, the main two changes you have to make uh, per sticker. So basically PNG file just equals whatever that sticker name is. And then free, whether or not it's going to be um, free, uh, immediately when somebody downloads the app or if you set this to be false that means that that's going to be a sticker that they have to pay uh to um yeah they have to pay to, to use it right so uh and all all of your stickers that are set to for free to be false um they, they get unlocked with one purchase okay so here would be the uh, in-app purchase id uh, that's set up in itunes connect uh, if you're just testing it on your own, you can always test test in paid mode set to be uh, yes. And then the mo rest of these are just options to, you know, purchase text, stuff like that, please buy. <laughs> you can actually rotate around purchase text in there if you want to change the font, stuff like that. So these are just kind of the, the way things look. Uh, and yeah, here's an example of like, so add your collection. That would be one of the, the purchase text options over here. Uh, and then, of course, you have to include in there your restore button. So, uh, but anyway, it makes short work of, uh, of creating a, uh, a sticker app uh, yourself. And, uh, and there is, believe me, there is money to be made uh, selling stickers out there. People do love sending them around. Even my dad is getting up there in age likes sending stickers. I think he sends more stickers than I do. So anyway, that'll uh, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for hanging in there till the very end, if you did, to uh, get this shameless plug for what we sell. Oh, and by the way, everything comes included with your Cartoon Smart subscription. So all the kits, all of our game art, which is just getting to be tremendous, a huge amount of game art. Um, and just adding it every month is getting to be a chore in itself. Just so much of it. But I love looking through it. All right, that'll do it for me for now.